So we're essentially in lockdown now, which gives us time to catch up on our drawing. It's something that we can do in the house. We all have those facilities, uh, so let's do this. We're going to do these in sequential order starting with the plan which is what we always start with we're then going to have a look at sections we're going to then put it together with axos and perspectives uh, each of the videos will be pretty quick um, and give a basic overview of how you might use these methods of drawing to uh, design spaces there are some rules so number one is that you're going to start by doing your layout uh, you're going to understand the size of the furniture that you're going to put into this layout and the items that go into the layout but you're also going to understand certain aspects on the plan which will allow you to relate to the dimensions of the furniture so we encourage that you get the correct scale Number two, you're going to use uh, the architectural plan as a grid. You're going to create a further grid. Uh, we're going to have a look at that, and that's going to allow you to produce your floor plan. Number three and one of the most important things is that you get your line weights correct and you get your line hierarchy correct. 
Essentially, it is the thickest in terms of the architecture and the thinnest is the furthest away from you in terms of flooring. Number four, we're going to label the spaces so we can actually understand uh, the plan. Number five, we're going to put some section cuts in, uh, which will then relate into the section drawn that we'll produce next. Number six, we're then going to label the plan so we know what we're looking at. Essentially, it's a ground floor plan. Okay, I hope this helps. Right, so I enjoyed that um, about half an hour to produce that drone, obviously sped up in terms of the video, uh, but shows how much you can produce in a really short period of time. Um, I hope you found that, that useful. If you liked it, give it a like. Please do share it with others who are, you know, carrying out these sort of exercises, and it is practice. It's, you know, following these rules will make you a better drawer and a, a better designer in terms of um, interiors and architecture. Um, okay. Thanks very much. See you in the next one, which is going to be sections.